Good day everyone! Now that we are done with our previous topic, we are going to move to our new topic, which is the literary devices, which is used in different types of literature. Now, who has an idea of what is the literary devices? Good! Anyone else? Very good! You have a point. Literary devices are used in writing for emphasis and clarity. Authors, authors also use literary devices to get the readers to connect more strongly with either a story as a whole or specific characters or themes. Now, there are many types of literary devices but I'm going to discuss to you only the most commonly used in literature. Okay, who wants to read number one? Yes? Alliteration. It involves the quick repetition of the first letters and therefore the first sounds of words. Example, the white witch wanted to write a new spell. Okay, good. Number two? Personification. It is giving inanimate objects and other phenomena human traits. Example, the leaves dance in the wind. Okay, good. Number three, simile. Simile is comparing two unrelated things to create new meaning. They are, they are marked by the use of like, as, or such as. Example, she ran like the wind. Very good. Number four, metaphor. Metaphor is a device that asserts one object as another, bringing new meaning to the original subjects. Example, it's raining cats and dogs. Okay, good. Number five, hyperbole. It is exaggerating statement of idea to emphasize a point of emotion. Example, if I take another step, my feet will fall off. Okay, number six, imagery. Imagery appeals to readers' senses through highly descriptive language. Example, the sunset was the most gorgeous they had ever seen. The clouds were edged with pink and gold. And lastly, number seven. Consonants. Consonants are the repetition of consonant sound and is typically used to refer to the repetition of sound. Example, Toss the glass, boss. Okay, very good class. Now, let us see if you really understood our topic. I'm going to use the Quizlet app. In this app, I will show you a definition of a literary device. And you should be able to identify what, lit what literary device that definition belongs. Understood? Good. Please read number one. Okay, thank you. So what literary device is this? Yes? Very good. It is hyperbole. Please read number two. Okay, thank you. So what literary device is this? Yes? Okay, very good. It is alliteration. Please read number three. Okay, thank you. So what literary device is this? Yes? Imagery. That's correct. Very good. So please read number four. Okay, thank you. So what literary device is this? Yes? That's correct. It is metaphor. And please read number five. Okay, thank you. So what literary device is this? Yes? Very good. It is consonants. Please read number six. Okay, thank you. So what literary device is this? Yes? Very good. That's correct. It is simile. Please read number seven. Okay, thank you. So what literary device is this? Yes? Okay, very good. It is personification. Very good class.
it seems like you really understood our topic. It's good to know that all of you are listening. Now, I want you to give yourself a big round of applause.